So jackfruit has a sap that's um, it's kind of like latex. So it's super, super sticky and it's really hard to get off. That's why I'm covering the counter with some saran wrap. Then I'm also going to cover the cutting board with saran wrap. Just so they can re reuse this cutting board again in the future. I have coconut oil. You want to use coconut oil because it's got the mildest flavor. And you want a large knife and you're going to grease up the knife. Which you do have to kind of be careful of because that means that it's slippery. <laughs> it's got oil all over it. So you have to be really careful when you're cutting the jackfruit. Also, you want to oil the jackfruit as well. <laughs> And it's easier when the coconut oil is already melted, but it's not. <laughs> I have a big pot. That's what I'm going to put the segments of the jackfruit that I'm going to boil. And then I also have um, just an extra container for scraps that we're not going to cook. So let's see. Cut off. The stem, and you see this right here. That's what I'm talking about. This is the really sticky, gluey sap. It's pouring out right there. <laughs> Very sticky. You don't want to get that like on anything really, because it's really hard to get off. So just cut it however you can, um, however you can safely do it. There's not really a set way you have to do it because ultimately it's going to get boiled and then shredded to pieces. So it's not going to matter what it looks like when it goes into the pot to boil. This is the inside of a baby, uh, not a baby, but an, a green jackfruit. It's young. And um, you only want to use the young jackfruit for cooking because it's not sweet. It just has the texture of like a pulled pork. I'm just going to quarter it. So it's easier to core. Yeah, I have the plastic down so the sap doesn't get everywhere. Yeah. Have you done this before? Yeah. Me and Ovi played the first one. But the only thing is we just oh you're on the video. Sorry. You're okay. Alright. So we have this. Uh huh. You can also take the core out after you've um, boiled it. It's my scraps full. Oh man. <laughs> and the interesting thing about jackfruit is that you can actually boil the seeds and then save them and then make hummus with them. You can oh, eat the seeds. Yeah, or eating the seeds. Yeah. So you don't have to go through and pick out all the seeds if you plan on saving them. At this point, I'm just going to make little slices so they boil fast. Oh. Whew. Slippery knife. <laughs> Oh, 
And this is actually a really small jackfruit. Uh, jackfruit is the world's largest fruit, and they can literally be up to close to 100 pounds. Once, once the water starts boiling, um, then you want to let it boil for probably about 20 minutes, just so it gets really nice and soft and tender, and easier to pull apart. Yeah, so you can see, like, it's, it's, it's getting there. I'm going to leave it in for about five more minutes. You can see the shreds that looks like pork. Yeah. If that yellow part is what you would eat if you were just eating fresh, ripe jackfruit. It's just that yellow sweet part. Um, those are the little pods. So all this stringy stuff, you, it would go to waste. Like you wouldn't eat any of it if you eat it when it's ripe. So weird looking. It's like alien. Separating the cooked jackfruit from the skin. Um, pretty much every part of this is edible except for the skin. So we just want to get it as close as possible so you don't waste that much. Just like this. I'll just put this in the trash. And then you can see the texture. It's just like pulled pork or chicken. Then you see these yellow pods here. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> these yellow pods are where the fruit has actually started ripening. So um, it's going to taste just a little bit sweeter than this white stringy part, but it hasn't matured yet, so it shouldn't be that noticeable flavor-wise. You can even use the seeds in here. You can save it and make hummus with it. It's a really uh, mild flavor. It tastes just like uh, a garbanzo bean.